Hello and welcome to this Millennial Review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the HP DeskJet 2734E. Take it out of the box, we'll set it up together, and I'll show you how to get it working on your PC. So this video is a tutorial on how to unbox, set up, add the ink, all those important things. So that way you can get printing wirelessly with your new HP DeskJet 2734E. So the first thing to start with is we're just gonna have to go ahead and cut open the top of the box. I like to start from the top because that's where we're gonna have all these important goodies, such as a quick start configuration. You're gonna have your ink that comes with it. This is really important not to throw away. We'll need that later. You'll also have your power cord plugs in to just a standard outlet. Little bit of information about the ink cartridges as well as about their nine month uh, free ink, which interesting little addition. But once you open that stuff up, just a couple more pieces of packaging and out the printer is going to come. And I am gonna pull this kind of straight up from the side. And here, more owner's manuals and information to save and keep for later. And now with the printer out, just carefully take a knife and uh, you're gonna take this plastic coating which helps protect the printer. Go ahead and pull that off. Now the printer is open and we've got a couple more pieces of plastic to pull off. Uh, if you see here, this piece goes all the way down inside. And then that is what's going to reveal where the ink goes. So right inside of here is another little opening. You pop that open. And that's going to pull off this little stopper that keeps the ink uh, cartridge carrier from moving around on the inside. This is then your adjustment to be able to uh, kind of open up, allow the paper to come out. And then up top is gonna be the scan bed. This is for either copying or scanning paper. And you'll see we've got a little bit of additional plastic to take off here as well. Now turned around to the back side of the printer. Uh, behind here is gonna be where our cable goes to plug this in. We've got a small little twist tie here which will go ahead and take off. And that's gonna open up the cord. Now the side with this uh, double-sided end, that's just gonna slide right in. And then the other side with your outlet, this plug is gonna go straight into the wall. And while we'll be setting this up wirelessly, you'll see underneath a flap on the back, there's a little cover for a USB plug-in back. So you can add a USB cord that you can purchase separately. I do have them linked down below. But uh, wireless setup for this one, but you can also run it wired. At this point, the printer is plugged in. Now we just have to power it on, get our ink installed, and be able to start using it. And to be able to power on, you'll see right over on the left-hand side, there's a power button. That's going to turn this on. It should make some noises for the very first startup. So we'll go ahead and take a look. It's thinking, which is a good sign. That's sort of what that uh, flashing light is telling us, getting prepared to be able to be set up. Once it's done, we'll just go ahead, open that door, and the carrier for the ink pulls over to the side. So we'll have two different inks. One is gonna be our black, one's going to be the pink. And so the pink color on the top is a tri-color ink. Go ahead and pull this out. This piece up top. These are usually a good idea Give it a little bit of shake before throwing it in, but here's your tricolor ink. And then you've got this little piece of plastic to pull off. And that is then going to slide right into place, just like so. Same process, same process on the included black ink. Now this cover is covering uh, the injector there, so make sure that uh, you don't touch that piece that it's covering. But here we've got the black ink. Give it a good shake as well. That's gonna help make sure 
that uh, after sitting, it's going to initialize properly. The black ink, slide it right into place just like that. Go ahead and close the ink drawer. And with the ink installed, you'll notice on the side where our controls are, it's flashing for our Wi-Fi signal. Now it's time to go ahead and grab the computer and let's get this printer set up. So our next step is to go ahead and start using the computer to wirelessly connect to our printer and finish our setup. This is gonna be super easy and you'll see right on the instruction guide, it's gonna ask us to go to 123.hp.com. And so we go to 123.hp.com. In this case, we're gonna go 2734E. That's our all-in-one printer. And when we hit next, it's going to bring us to a spot where we can either do it with a mobile device like your cell phone, which we'll do here, or continue with the computer. So I'm gonna do it with the mobile device, make things a little bit easier. And we'll open the website that it brings us to. So here, let's just accept, install the HP Smart. This is an app that can go right on your phone. Go ahead and hit open. That's gonna open up the HP app, accept all. We don't really need notifications, so I'm going to deselect that one. And then it's time to set up a new printer. We're gonna be doing this one over Wi-Fi, so go ahead and click Wi-Fi, and then hit continue. It's asking to make sure that we're plugged in, Wi-Fi is all turned on, all of those things we have already set up. We do need to allow it to find the uh, location, but then immediately finds the DustJet 2700 series. So go there and then you can click in your Wi-Fi password. And once you have your password installed, go ahead and click continue. It's gonna find the printer and get it all set up. Now over at the printer, it does ask us to hit the little information button. This is confirming that we've got the right printer and that's going to connect it to the network. And just like that, it then tells us that we're connected to Wi-Fi. That did take about a minute or so. So don't be surprised if it takes a little while for everything to be set up. But now that it's connected, we should go onto the processing page and shortly be able to use our printer. And eventually you get back to the HP Smart app, in which case the printer is all set up on your phone. Now to go ahead and test the printer, make sure that that's the case. I'm gonna go ahead and slide the printer paper down in, and then I'm going to grab a, a document that I'd like to print, and in which case, here, go ahead and we'll print. You see it does come up automatically on the phone. It's 2700. And then click OK. Now it should wirelessly begin printing. There we go. But of course you might be saying, well, that's nice that it works on your phone. Well, let's also make it work on the computer. In which case, luckily that's a very easy process to make happen. And so to do so, you can hit file print or control P for print. It's gonna bring up your screen, but now we need to select the printer. In my case, I only have the old Canon printer I'm replacing or saved a PDF, but instead, what you can do is, I did that pretty quickly, click See More, go ahead and click on that. Then down at the bottom, there's a button to hit Manage, and that's gonna bring up your printer settings. Now, printers and scanners, those devices can be added by clicking the Add Device button on your PC, in which case, you see it comes up right at the top, and so we can just click Add Device. It's gonna connect, takes a minute or two to get connected to that HP printer. The installation bar goes over and we should be ready to roll. Calls out as being ready, so we can click back over, go ahead and try printing again. Control P for print. And instead of save as PDF, we'll now be able to select our HP 2700 series, click print. And just like that, we'll get a print wirelessly out of our printer.
Thanks so much for joining me on this video to check out how to set up your HP DeskJet 2734E. We did it both with our phone as well as with our computer. Pretty easy wireless setup and if you need any ink parts or things like that, I'll have them linked down below. So go ahead and click subscribe and uh, we'll be printing together here shortly again. Thank you.